Hello guys. So far in the chapter DC power supplies, we have learned about the block diagram of regulated power supply, a brief intro about each of the block, rectifier, the types of rectifiers, ripple, ripple factor, filter, and four different types of filters. Along with this, we have also learned the advantages and disadvantages of the filters. In case if you miss these lectures the links are available in the description today we will learn the characteristics of a power supply for a good power supply there are five main characteristics load regulation line regulation output impedance ripple rejection and overload protection so let's study in deep about these characteristics let's start with load regulation Load regulation is the capability to maintain a constant voltage or current level on the output channel of a power supply despite change in the supply load. The load regulation of a power supply is defined by LR and LR is equal to VNL minus VFL where LR means load regulation VNL means load voltage with no load current and VFL is load voltage with full load current. The percentage LR is given by VNL minus VFL upon VNL multiplied by 100. For a good power supply, percentage LR should be very small. Now what is this load regulation? We have studied the definition, but what actually it is? The load regulation says that the output should remain constant whether there was change in the load so let's see a example suppose i have a power supply in which the load register rl is variable now first instead of applying a load i remove the load register and calculate the output voltage that I got 5.2 volt at the output of the power supply now that is known as VNL when there was no load is applied what is the output voltage so in that case suppose I got the value 5.2 volt now I attach a variable load or load register now after adding the load or a register we know that across the register there is a voltage drop so the moment I attach a load and set it to minimum value as my load register is variable so I set it to the minimum value I got the value 5.1 volt at minimum uh, resistance now I slowly start increasing the resistance then the voltage is also start dropping as slowly slowly I increase the uh, resistance value the voltage is also dropping now at one stage I put it at maximum and in that case the output voltage is 4.5 volt across the load register so how we calculate the percentage LR or load regulation so the formula for percentage LR is VNL minus VFL upon VNL multiplied by 100 now when there was no load or no register is connected I got the output 5.2 volt now when the load is at its maximum value I got the output 4.5 volt so 5.2 minus 4.5 is our LR so to calculate percentage LR I substitute the values and I got 0 0.135 multiplied by 100 that is 13.5 percent this is my percentage load regulation and if I say if I want to talk only about the load regulation then it will be 0 0.7 so what is load regulation why we use this term load regulation states that instead or 
in any condition whatever the load is applied to the power supply the output should not vary in ideal condition but we know that whenever we put any resistor or any load across the terminal the voltage drops here it is it dropped from 5.2 to 4.5 and this drop should not be too much it should be very small as much as uh, sorry as much as possible in this case my load regulation is 5.2 minus 4.5 that is 0.7 volt so this much variation i got across the different loads that is what the load regulation for a good power supply this value should be minimum as much as possible now let's move to the next uh, characteristics that is line regulation now what is line regulation it is also known as source regulation or source effect the line regulation is the ability of power supply to maintain constant output voltage despite changes to the input voltage with the output current drawn from the power supply remains constant the percentage sr is given by sr upon v norm multiplied by 100 where sr is the change in load voltage for full line change and v norm is the nominal load voltage generally taken at 230 volt for a good power supply percentage sr should be very small now this is the definition of line regulation but what is the line regulation in actually line means the input given to the transformer and this line regulation means in whatever the input is given to the transformer either it is 170 degree or it is no, sorry 170 volt or it is 270 volt the output should remain constant and for this let's see the example suppose a line voltage which i am going to give to the transformer is ranges from 170 volt to 260 volt so when i give 170 volt out input to the transformer i got the output 4.1 volt across the load resistor here the load resistor is fixed now when i give the input 170 volt i got the output 4.1 volt now i increase the input voltage that is my line voltage known as line voltage i increase to 180 i got the output 4.2 volt at 190 i got the output 4.3 volt in the similar manner i got 4.4 4.5 4.6 4.7 4.8 and 5.0 so these are my different outputs for different line voltages now how to calculate the percentage line regulation or percentage sr as we know that the percentage sr is given by sr upon v norm now sr is full line change full line change is from 4.1 to 5.0 so difference is 0.9 so on substituting this value over here 0.9 v norm we generally take the v norm nominal voltage at 230 volt now suppose at 230 i got the output 4.7 volt so here i substituted the 4.7 and i got the answer 19.1% is my line regulation so in this manner we can easily calculate a line and load regulation of any power source and for a good power source it should be minimum as much as possible now let's move to the third characteristics of output impedance of the power supply that is output impedance now what is output impedance output impedance is the ratio of change in output voltage to change in load current 
For a regulated power supply, the output impedance at low frequency is very small. The use of voltage feedback reduces the output impedance. The regulated power supply have typically output impedance in milli ohms and it is given by R out CL is equal to R out OL upon 1 plus A beta where CL means closed loop OL means open loop so R out means output resistance when it is in closed loop feedback is in closed loop and R out output resistance when the feedback is in open loop A beta is the open loop gain now what is gain gain means the ratio of output to the input so for a good power supply at low frequency the output impedance should be very small now ripple rejection as we studied in the filter the filters are used to remove the ripples because it are the fil uh, the ripples are unwanted for the power supply as we know that ripple in electronics is the residual periodic variation of the dc voltage within a power supply which has been derived from an ac source and a good power supply should have ripple rejection ability and for this we are using filter and voltage regulator as the voltage regulator stabilizes the output against the change in input voltage it reduces the ripple that came with the input voltage the ripple rejection is specified in the db that is decibels so for a good power supply ripple rejection should be high so that a constant output can be achieved or can be obtained the last characteristics of a power supply is overload protection in power supply due to overloading large current flows which may cause damage in some power supply the protection is provided against temporary overloading by current limiting technique so what is the current limiting technique how this overload protection can be done we will study in the upcoming lectures that's all for today from next lecture uh, we will start the topic voltage regulation the first voltage regulator which we we are going to learn is zener diode as voltage regulator thank you